Today, I'm going to show you how to create a full screen pop-up menu. Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for tuning in with your boy Nino. I got a tutorial for you guys today on how to create a full screen pop-up menu. So let's get started. So first, what you want to do is you want to create a light box. And how you do that is you go here to your ad, scroll all the way down till you see light box. And then once you hit light box, you can go ahead and grab any one of these here. But just to save time, I'm just going to get this welcome logo uh, so I can pull that out here. Now, first, what I want to do is actually rename this. So I'm going to go ahead and rename this to menu. All right. And then I'm going to say that it's a no for automatic display. And then I'm going to keep the X icon, but I'm going to click away the close button. All right. So we got most of our setup already here. Now, what we want to do here is we want to go ahead and bring some aesthetics uh, to the light box. So that means actually go ahead and style it up the way that you want. Uh, so for me, I'm just going to go ahead and just change this to black. All right, because that's my feel of the whole entire website. Then I'm going to uh, bring this up to about 90 uh, so you can just see partially of your website but not all of it so it's like a little faded out all right so that's what i did for changing my overlay background all right now if you want to go into your light box make sure that your light box is uh set to like transparent so you can actually do that by going to your design going to settings and then just bringing this uh down all the way to zero okay once you have that you want to actually go ahead and space this light box out a little bit uh, just like this. I mean, it doesn't have to be really perfect. All you have to do is that. OK, and then once you have this uh, here, what you want to do now is go to an add button. Then you want to go ahead and scroll down till you see menu. And then once you get to menu, then you want to go to vertical menus, then go ahead and choose which one you would like to pull over, which I'm going to pull this one over and then we can actually customize it. So what we want to do here is we want to center this. All right. Uh, go ahead, do that. Then you want to go into your design, go to customize design, go here to this one right here because I, I like this setup. Uh, and then you guys can actually change your fill of the color. Uh, but right now I'm not going to get into that so much. I'm just going to uh, go ahead and change this to my header four. Okay. And then I'm going to scale this. Uh, I'm going to go ahead, make the color of the text. Let's see. We'll make it, uh, we'll make it gray. All right. And then what we want to do here is let's see, that's Helvetica light for the sub menu. So what we want to do here for our sub menu is create it as a heading five. Okay. And sub menus are things that are placed underneath uh, one of your pages. Uh, so I will go more in detail about that in another tutorial, but yeah, you get the gist. All right, now we're going to go to hover and we're going to change that to red. OK, then we're going to change this clicked item to uh, let's see, let's give it like. Uh, yeah, let's just give it the same type of red. All right. And then boom, we're all almost set up for our whole entire menu. All we have to do here is go ahead and center this, put it right there and then just play around with it. Uh, so that means that you need to change the layout of it. Uh, we're going to say to the right, we're going to go ahead and center it. 
then what we're going to do here is we're going to space it out all right so i'll space it out like this oh didn't want to do that okay here we go space it out just a little bit more all right so now what we want to do is just center it all right now that we have it centered now we want to go ahead and change this uh to let's say 70 75 and then i'll put it at like 36. okay so now that we have the x right there x marks the spot this is actually how to close out now what you want to do here is you want to go ahead and set up your overlay to be uh clicking uh for it to close out of the light box just so that if somebody accidentally clicked your menu they could actually click out uh easily like that instead of trapping them into using one of these uh items here to navigate to your site all right um so i guess that's about it we got the x here x marks the spot we got our vertical menu here all right now we just have to go back on to our actual page and now what we want to do is we want to add a vector art okay so we want to go to vector art and then we want to go to uh no sorry about that guys you want to go to shape once you go to shape then you want to go ahead scroll down and get more basic shapes okay now you want to go to now you want to go to your search and type in type in here menu okay so once you type in menu you can actually see all of these different types of menu items here all right so i'm going to go ahead with this basic uh hamburger strip okay and i'm going to add that to the page once i add that to the page i'm going to actually readjust it uh to my liking and then let's see then i'm going to change this then i'm going to change the color to white since my x arrow there was white also and then i'm going to bring this down just a tad bit more Bring it over just a tad bit more like that. Actually, we can actually go back to our light box, our menu light box, and then we can actually look at the uh, width and the height of this X. So it's 42, 42. All right, so now that we have that, we could go and exit out. We can do this and we can say 42, 42. All right. So now that we have 4242, now what we want to do is right click this and then we want to pin it to screen, okay? So once you pin it to screen, I think that uh, you have to do a little bit more of adjusting around. Uh, but right now, I'm just going to go ahead and uh, adjust it to my X arrow on my light box, on my menu light box. All right? So I almost have it set up i think that's in the right area um not perfectly sure but now once we have this vector image here uh excuse me once we have this basic shape here what we want to do is we want to connect it to the light box so what we do is we click here and then we scroll all the way down to light box so i automatically clicked on links and then i went all the way down to light box then i click on menu okay once we have that set up, you are pretty much good to go. So what we'll do is we're going to automatically go ahead and test this thing out. 
All right, let's preview it. All right, everything looking good. Click the hamburger. Boom. Now my whole entire menu is up here. Now I can actually navigate around to our projects and we can see that we got to our projects. Now, what I want to actually say here, guys, is uh, I actually left out one big key thing, and that is when you go to your home, uh, this is only pinned to your actual page. What you want to do is you want to uh, go ahead and unpin this element and actually put it into your header. So let's see here. Go ahead, put this item into your header. Then you want it to go ahead and right click, pin to screen, and then I'll just put it in my same placement that I had before. Okay, and then once I have that, then I can actually preview this and it will show on every site. Make sure that you save uh, just so that, you know, you won't lose any of your process. Uh, so go ahead, check this out. We have the hamburger here, uh, hamburger strip, boom. Now it changed into this X and we have our projects, designers, about us can contact us. So now we can go to about us and boom, our hamburger strip right here to our menu is sitting right here at the top and everything is looking pretty good. All right. So you can go to contact us. You can keep going back to home. So it's actually functioning very well. Uh, I really like this. So I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. Uh, definitely give it a shot. If you have any questions, like drop it below. And uh, thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, hit that like button. Subscribe if you aren't already. And I'll see you in the next video. Ciao.